I'm a jingle dress dancer. I um, wore my regalia to support um, all those children who lost their lives because it's a really sad time and that's what this healing dress is for and it's for community. Residential schools have been happening for a very long time. This is a, a continued genocide. Continued. A continued genocide. Uh, you know, because because uh, the 215 pe the children, that's only the beginning. If you go across the country and in all the residential schools and you do an investigation and, and, and use the technology to search, you will find a lot more. My mother, yes. She was in residential school, yeah, in Portage. She would not talk about it. And she didn't even want the money that they were going to give her because she says the money is not going to fix the problem of what happened. My grandmother, Winnie, she was part of residential school and that's why she lost her language as well as my aunt, Vivian Recolay. She um, was part of residential school. She still has the Anishinaabe language, that Ojibwe language. But um, she was really abused and it's really hard to walk by a church or go into a church because it's very traumatizing to have to face that again and see those nuns and priests. Um, my my great-great-grandma was taken off the res to be in residential school and then she was part of the 60 scoop. So it's really, um, it's really sad and devastating.